Anyone who is exposed to prescription or illegal opioids, such as fentanyl and heroin, is potentially at risk of experiencing an accidental overdose. But what happens during an opioid overdose? Due to their effect on the part of the brain which regulates breathing, opioids in high doses can cause people to experience signs of breathing problems and severe sleepiness or not being able to respond. Narcan nasal spray was designed for use in emergency overdose situations, including those outside of a hospital, by not only first responders, but also by loved ones, friends, caregivers, and other non-healthcare professionals in accordance with the instructions for use. Narcan nasal spray can be administered before emergency medical assistance becomes available, but it is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical care. If an opioid overdose is known or suspected, call 911 or ask someone to call for you before administering Narcan nasal spray. When Narcan nasal spray is administered to a patient with signs and symptoms of an opioid overdose emergency, naloxone molecules travel through the body to the brain and attach to the opioid receptor sites with a greater affinity than most opioid molecules. By displacing the opioid molecules, naloxone can rapidly reverse the effects of the overdose, specifically respiratory depression. After two to three minutes, if the person does not respond by waking up, responding to voice or touch, breathing normally, or the signs and symptoms of an opioid emergency have returned, after Narcan nasal spray has been given, give another dose in the alternate nostril, using a new Narcan nasal spray, and watch the person closely until emergency help is received. Additional doses may be given every two to three minutes until the person responds or emergency medical help is received. If you know how, and if needed, perform artificial respiration or cardiac massage. Narcan nasal spray is available without a prescription. Talk to your pharmacist today.